A list of A-list celebrities were here at the Staples Center taking in the Celtics-Lakers matchup, and one of them happened to be a legend named Bill Russell. Joseph Pavone here alongside Nick Gelso. Nick, did you ever think you would see Bill Russell rocking a Lakers uniform? How did you feel? What was it like to see him in that gold and purple here in L.A.? Seeing Bill Russell, period, is a pleasure. I know I sound like Bill Walton right now, <laughs> but it is a pleasure. No, for real. No, anyway, keep that same energy. I like the voice. Any way, shape, or form, Bill Russell, it's an honor. So let's start there. Number two, anybody who says Boston fans or Boston Celtics are not classy, the world is wrong on national television today because Mr. Russell comes in in not just a Kobe Bryant jersey, but a Lakers Kobe Bryant jersey. As a Celtics fan my entire life, someone who now earns a living covering the team, that doesn't bother me at all because we're at Staples Center tomorrow. Monday is a huge, the last of several memorials. During the period that everybody's been memorializing Kobe, there's been a lot of firsts. You were on the road with the team when, it ha when, the, when, when the tragedy happened. I was back in Boston wa looking at Boston Garden draped in purple and gold lights. Never thought I'd see that. I'm getting chills while talking about it because that's the class of Boston. Mr. Bill Russell is not just a legend. He's not just the GOAT. He is the only GOAT in Boston. And that I will say over and over, that's to you Patriots fans, one GOAT, 11 championships in 13 years, showed all with the Celtics, showed up tonight honoring the Laker family, the Kobe Bryant family and the NBA as a whole. He is the godfather of the NBA and the patriarch now since Red has gone of the Celtics franchise. I couldn't be more proud, Joe Sway. I feel like no other rivalry does it quite like the oh. Celtics and Lakers. You know, you have Bill Russell in the building. We had Kevin Garnett in the building. And he's rocking a Ray John Rondo jersey, but in his back pocket. Mark Wahlberg, the biggest boo of the night, went for Mark Wahlberg on the Jumbotron, not for any of the Celtics for Mark Wahlberg, although I guess he's an honorary Celtic. Yeah, we're definitely in Hollywood. No one does do rivalry like Celtics-Lakers. Those colors mesh together so well, the purple, gold, the green. But tonight, seeing Bill Russell walk in on his own accord in that purple and gold, it's, it's a memory that won't soon be forgotten. And I think it'll probably be on highlight reels, at least for the Lakers, forever class act class act this segment of the garden report is brought to you by Vincero. and use the promo code garden you get 15 percent off your purchase that's vincerowatches.com don't forget the promo code garden to get 15 percent off your purchase i got one more thing oh you still got more, one more man thing. once someone mentions bill russell this really gets nick going no, it's more uh, the goat thing so we're gonna i say that you be, i'm gonna call out the boston media a little bit even though i'm one of them <laughs> all week of kevin garnett's jersey retirement we went on and on and on about how the Lakers do it right. I'm not going to call out by name, but they clearly have not been to Staples Center because Boston has fabric with numbers on it. The Lakers have statues and duplicates of the, the, the fabric in the arena. Talk about Bill Russell honoring your legends. I'm glad the Lakers honor their legends like the Celtics do. Tonight prove why Bill Russell is has his number retired and why Red Auerbach has set the precedent for number retirements at Boston Garden. I'm out on that. I'm going to get killed on Twitter. Come get me. CLNS underscore Nick. Wow, Nick's really on one right now. <laughs> That's going to do it from us from outside the Staples Center. I am Joseph Pavone. He is Nick Gelso, CLNS Media.